Hey there! I'm really enjoying our King of Hearts series and learning all about David's life. I hope that you've been enjoying it too. So far, God has allowed David to be anointed by the prophet Samuel to slay the Philistine giant named Goliath. David lived his life by faith and God blessed him for it. Last week, we learned about how God helped David, who was just a teenager, defeat a huge giant named Goliath. We learned that God fights for us. Not that kind of fighting, but you know what I mean. He is for us. Today, we're talking about David and Jonathan. Y'all, they were tight. Like, I mean the best of friends. Wait, who is Jonathan? Let me back up in the story and check this out. This is Jonathan. Hey! Who was the son of King Saul and a warrior in Israel's army. This is David, hey. who would later become the king of Israel. Huh? After David defeated a great giant, he was brought before King Saul and he met Jonathan. They immediately became friends. Yeah! And Jonathan made a pact with David and showed him that by giving David his robe and weapons. Oh, hang on. From that time on, David was successful in all he did. Oh! And King Saul became jealous of David and very angry. Saul wanted his servants and Jonathan to get rid of David. But because Jonathan loved his friend David, he warned David of what his father was planning. Jonathan went to his father, King Saul, and talked him out of harming David. For a time, David was safe from King Saul's plans. Phew. But not long after, the king's jealousy and anger came back, and he tried to kill David. Whoa! David got away, and his friend Jonathan came to help him. Hang on, eh? So we know Jonathan cared for David. They were besties. Jonathan warned David and told him that Saul was looking for a chance to kill him. King Saul was Jonathan's dad. But he knew in his heart what his dad was trying to do wasn't right. And it sure wasn't a godly choice. So Jonathan was willing to risk his own life to warn his friend. Let's say today's bottom line, love your friends on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Love your friends. It was the time of year for a big feast, and this was an event that David would be expected to attend. Since Saul has tried to kill David before, you can see how he might be a little nervous about being around the king. So David talks to Jonathan to get the scoop on what Saul's future plans are. Is David safe to go to the feast, or should he stay away? Jonathan told David he would do anything to protect him. Jonathan said, if I learn that my father's plans are to harm you, I will warn you. Now that's a good friend. He has David's back. Everyone likes a friend that you can count on. Let's say today's bottom line, love your friends on the count of three. One, two, three. Love your friends. Jonathan told David he probably shouldn't attend the feast. Jonathan said, I'll go to the feast and then afterwards let you know whether or not Saul is still mad at you. Don't come back just yet. It might not be safe. He told David to hide near a big pile of rocks on the day after the feast. Jonathan would then shoot three arrows towards the rocks. He would then send a servant to go get the arrows. If the arrows were on this side, that meant Saul was no longer angry and it was safe for David to come back. But if the arrows were on the far side, it meant that Saul was still angry and David should stay away. Pretty clever plan, right? This is kind of like a secret code that the boys came up with. You know, kind of like a secret handshake maybe only you and your friend know. Oh, secret friend. Remember, this is the signal for if David should hide from Saul or if it was safe to come into town. At the feast, 
Saul obviously noticed that David wasn't around and he got really mad at Jonathan and said, where's David? You two are in this together. Jonathan being the good friend he was would not tell Saul where David was hiding. Saul was not happy. He even told Jonathan that he would never let him be king as long as David was alive. Jonathan didn't care. He would not betray his friend. This made Saul even more angry. He got so mad that he threw another spear, this time at his own son, Jonathan. He missed again, and Jonathan was able to leave the feast without getting hurt. The next morning, Jonathan went out to the place by the rocks where he and David had talked before. Jonathan shot the arrows just like he said he would and sent his servant after them. He yelled to the servant, the arrow is on the far side, hurry, go get it. This signal let David know that he should stay away so that Saul couldn't find him. After his servant brought the arrow back, Jonathan sent him into town. When the servant had left, David came out from where he was hiding and thanked his friend Jonathan for all that he had done. Let's say today's bottom line one last time. Love your friends on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Love your friends. They both knew that they would have to go separate ways for a long time and they were really sad about it, but their friendship would last forever. They vowed to stay friends. The Bible says in 1 Samuel 20, verse 42, Jonathan said to David, go in peace. We have promised by the Lord that we will be friends. We said the Lord will be a witness between you and me and between our descendants forever. Then David left and Jonathan went back to town. David would never forget how Jonathan helped save his life from a jealous king. See you soon.